When you hang your front derailleur, you're going to attach it to the front derailleur hanger right here. You'll either have a clamp on, like this style here, which actually clamps onto the frame, or a brazon type adapter. A brazon adapter is actually built into the frame itself. This clamp on adapter is already set up at the proper height, so we'll just install the front derailleur. To install the front derailleur, put the derailleur on the back of the clamp and then put your front derailleur bolt through the clamp into the derailleur. Get it finger tight and you'll use a 5 millimeter Allen wrench to turn it. Now before you set it, you want to make sure that there's about a 1 to 3 millimeter gap between your chain ring teeth, the top of your chain ring teeth, and the arc of your top derailleur. We're just about set and then we can get it in place. To finish this off, you're going to use your torque wrench. The recommended torque setting for this front derailleur is 5 to 7 newton meters. Be sure to check with the owner's manual for your front derailleur to make sure you have the proper torque setting. To finish this off, insert your 5 millimeter hex key and wait for the click from the torque wrench. You now have a properly installed front derailleur. Before we install the rear derailleur, we want to apply some lubricant to the rear derailleur threads. Once that's complete, we can install it into the rear derailleur hanger. One thing to make sure is that your B adjust washer tab is above this little ledge on your rear derailleur hanger. So we'll make sure that that is above. And then we'll take a five millimeter Allen key and get this thing so that it's finger tight. Now that it's finger tight, we can set the torque with the torque wrench. The proper torque setting for this rear derailleur is eight to 10 Newton meters. Be sure to check with the owner's manual of your rear derailleur to make sure you have the proper torque setting. To finish this off, insert your five millimeter hex key and wait for the click on the torque wrench. You now have a properly installed rear derailleur.